Hello and welcome to this Corel Paint Shop Pro tutorial. Uh, this video in our little series of removing things we don't want is the Smart Fill. And uh, it's kind of a neat little um, tool. We've covered, I've done videos on the regular um, clone tool, which is like a stamp. You just select an area and then you can essentially copy it into other areas. We did Object Remover is the one, if you remember, we uh, used this exact same photo for that, where you draw around the object and then you designate an area that's the source and then it, it copies and blends it in and then we have the uh, the smart one which we start with a selection go around the object we want to remove and then up here on our toolbar we have the magic fill I think I said smart fill I meant magic fill and then uh, we're gonna click that and uh, presto change -o. it's gono yeah that's horrible horrible dad humor um, let me uh, whoa. let me go down here and we'll take a look so you can see that it's done a pretty good job of doing that so let's try this one as well we didn't actually remove this one in the last video let's try that see what we get I'm pretty happy with that too no uh, no extra cleanup needed and let us try this guy this one Anyone want to place any bets? This is a bit trickier. Let's see what we get. Yeah, it's not too bad. Zoom in here. Look for um, sharp edges that we might want to clone out. So that is not bad at all. So that is the magic fill, which uh, you, you pick your selection, you select your area, and uh, then you simply let the program do its thing. And... Uh, you know, we could even get rid of uh, do a little extra cleanup. This kind of um, cleanup is pretty much universal in most photography. If you're into landscape photography, uh, there's always stuff out there that is slightly distracting. It may not be enough for you to avoid the um, the scene altogether, but knowing that you have tools like this at your disposal, you can um, you know bring it into Paint Shop Pro and do a little cleanup work to uh, clean things off. And uh, that looks a lot nicer not having this branch here and uh, these trees down here in the foreground. Obviously, um, you know, there's limitations on what it'll do, but I, I always recommend that people grab a tool and uh, fart around, see what it does, see what it seems to struggle with. And then if you've, you know, with, with Paint Shop Pro, there's like four different ways to remove stuff. So you're probably going to find a solution one way or the other to get it done. And uh, you'll probably end up with uh, your favorites as well. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. This is a very short video. Subscribe, click the bell icon to be notified when new videos get uploaded. Please leave me a comment for other videos you'd like to see. If there are, are functions of the system that you want to learn more about, or if you want to just learn something general like photo editing from start to finish, uh, please leave me a comment below, and that would be great. And uh, until next time, we will talk to you later.